again, it's Lisa from BudgetEquestrian.com and I wanted to do something different today. So I decided that I'm going to do my very first ever vlog. And the reason that I wanted to do a vlog is I have a goal now with one of my horses. Um, what, the main horse that you usually see in my video, that's Frisbee. He's a Hanoverian that I've had for almost 11 years now. And he is almost 20 years old. Um, he has a little bit of arthritis, so I don't really, you know, work him a lot. We have fun, we go on trail rides, I take him for walks. Um, but I wanted a horse that I could kind of, he would be a project horse and I can kind of go a little bit further with him. So you've probably seen him, if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen him in the background. He's very curious. His name is Ethan and he is an eight-year-old thoroughbred um, who I was able to purchase from a uh, a, clo a close friend and it's really neat because actually my son has ridden this horse before and I kind of knew of him and there was a couple of times where I almost bought him and it didn't happen and then it did this time it just worked so I'm really excited to see what he can do and the vlog came around because there's actually a local horse show um, coming up here in the end of August and it's actually the end of July right now. So that gives me about five weeks to get him ready. He is broke to ride. He just needs some miles under him. But I thought this would be a good way to kind of document um, how what his progress is and my progress is for that matter to see how we're getting along and how we're moving forward and getting ready to go to a horse show. And I'm sure there's some of you out there too, possibly my age, um, mid forties that you know, you showed before in the past and it's something that you want to do. Or even for those of you who have never shown but you've thought about it, maybe this will give you some insight and, you know, kind of make you want to start getting on the horse, so to speak, to um, plan to go to a horse show. So it is Thursday evening when I'm recording this and I got home from work probably around 6. Um, during the day, Monday through Friday, I'm a registered nurse. so. I work with people that have broken bones, um, fractures, and have had orthopedic surgeries. That's my day job. So then when I get home from work on the evenings and then all weekends, that's my time with my family and my horses. And I consider my horses part of my family. So evenings and weekends is time with my family. Um, so like tonight when I got home, I couldn't really ride because we don't have an indoor riding area. Um, and it was thundering, lightning, and raining, and it's not very safe to ride when it's lightning. So I just cleaned my horse's pens and their stalls, gave them their dinner, and sat there and brushed them for about a half an hour, which is therapeutic in its, you know, in its own right. And I enjoy doing that. And I like the fact that I can just go in their stalls and just sit there and brush them. Um, I think that helps to, you know, form a relationship with them and with me and to let them know I don't have to have a halter on them. They can just be in their stall. I can walk around them, brush them, pick up their feet, and it's just, it's normal for them. So that is my goal to work towards with Ethan, getting him ready for the horse show, is I want to, I just want it to be, you know, no big deal. Everything is normal, this is what we do. So it's gonna be, you know, having him experience different situations, new situations, and just kind of going with the flow. Um, he has a huge heart, very, very kind horse. He's not spooky, he's not skittish. Uh, he tends to get into mischief. He knows how to open all of the, the stall doors and the gates to the different pastures. And actually, he's gotten out probably three or four times um, because we have to actually put carabiners on the, the gates so he can't open them and go out. He doesn't go far. He just goes in the driveway and starts eating the grass. But he's a little bit mischievous and he needs a job. So this will give him a job and it will be fun for me to give him a job and to kind of gauge my progress and see how I'm doing as well as how he is doing. So that's the first part. So trying to, thinking about, I'm thinking that I'm going to be doing a vlog, kind of a follow, you know, follow me around, see what I do with Ethan and kind of watch our progress as we go, probably one to two times a week. If anything exciting happens, I promise I'm going to be vlogging about it more frequently. So that was the main reason for the vlog. 
The second thing I wanted to do was kind of um, have like a little mini tack haul, um, kind of gearing up, getting ready to go to this horse show in the end of August. So I got a couple of things from lucky enough we have a Dover Saddlery in uh, not too far away. It's probably 20 minutes away. So if I ever, you know, get the urge that I want to go somewhere, want to go to a tack store, have a Dover's not very far away. So for this stuff that I got, I got a new riding helmet. This is a Troxel Intrepid helmet. Um, I liked it because it, I mean, it's not super, super fancy. It was very reasonable. It was $54. They have very good reviews as far as safety. Uh, my head's kind of important. I'm kind of have a good job and I don't want to do anything to risk that. So I wanted to make sure I had something good to protect my head and it has had really good reviews. So, and I like the way it looks. It's, it's, you know, it's not a $650 helmet, not, not even close, but I think it looks pretty nice. Um, and this, and it's safe. That's the biggest thing, but this is pretty cool. If I can remember how to do this, it's got a ma magnetic latch on it. So I don't think you'll be able to hear it click. Yeah. So you literally just put the edges together and then it clicks and it's locked, which is awesome. And it has a removable liner inside. So if it gets sweaty, I can take it out and, and wash it. So that was the first big purchase I got. It was $54, $55 um, at Dover's. And I think it looks pretty stylish. Probably couldn't get away with um, like Hunter Jumper Show or Hunter, you know, A rated class or show. Possibly puddle jumpers or something possibly could do that. So the nice nice helmet. I, I think The next thing I got was a pair of boot socks. I've never had a pair of boot socks before These are supposed to be the best darn boot socks. They're by Noble Outfitters. They're really nice um, Nice heavy-duty, but I've heard that they're really light on and and people like them a lot So that's why I chose those were those were like nine dollars and ninety six cents That that was a good buy and I got a new pair of, ooh, I got a new pair of uh, breeches. These are Devon Air, just the regular, it says all pro breeches. Um, this is a dove color. So I'm hoping it matches the coat I got because I've not had a hunt coat ever that, you know, was like brand new. I've gone to different places, like even thrift stores when I was younger, just trying to find a jacket that looked like a hunt coat. So I decided that since I am going to be going to shows, even if it's little ones, I wanted to have something that was quote unquote, a real hunt coat. So the breeches were to match the coat that I got. And this is the coat. It is called the competitor's coat. It's from carrots. It was really reasonable in price. This is that, um, that soft shell material and sounds, you know, I mean, it's very, very lightweight, which is nice. I really liked the piping around the edges here. And then it's also on the pockets it has zipper pockets. And the thing that's kind of cool. Oh, I like the back too. It's got the vented back. So it's an official hunk coat. I'm very excited. And I liked the gray color. I know that's probably not very traditional, but we'll see what happens. But it, what it has, it doesn't, so it has the three button front, but then it also has a zipper to help keep everything in place and tucked in. And then the buttons are actually snaps. So that looks pretty nice, I think. So there's the coat and then there's the breeches. So hopefully that'll look okay. We'll have to take some photos later and see what it looks like. And then the last thing that I got from Dover was a uh, Passier Leader Balsam. This is a leather dressing. So it's a leather conditioner. It is the most incredible stuff that I've ever, ever used. Um, it's not, I mean, for what you're getting and for how long it lasts, I don't think it's very expensive. I think it's very affordable. 
This is a 500 milliliter size container and it was $17.50 at Dover. The last time I bought one of these I think was three or four years ago. So $17.50 for three, even three years worth of um, conditioning my saddles I think is definitely a good buy. Getting a very expensive saddle, that's a huge investment. I think it's important to buy a good quality leather conditioner that you're going to be putting on that saddle. So like I said, I've I think $17.50 is a good deal. It lasts a long time. So that is it for my vlog this evening and my mini tack haul. I guess I kind of tackled two things at one time, but I was a little excited and wanted to share it with people. So I'm sharing it with you and I guess we'll kind of see where this goes from here. Stay tuned and follow along with me and Ethan as we work him through his, I guess, training to get him ready to go to his very first horse show and my first horse show in like 12 years. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.